I decided a long time ago, some people are not worth any space in here. So they're not worth anger. They're not worth frustration. They're not worth me thinking about them because if I give them mental space, they're living rent-free in my head. And they're, if I'm giving them my, my anger, I'm spending something on them that's too expensive. My emotions are too expensive to spend on this useless person. What have they given me that I should spend on them? I would rather use this space that I have, this limited space that I have on myself or on people or on Allah who are worth it. But not on anyone who's not worth it. And you have to decide. You, you may have people in your own family sometimes that have been, for years, they've been, they've been saying mean things to you. And every time they say mean things to you, you're like, I can't believe they said that. It hurts me so much. Eventually, you have to learn, hey, you know what? I'm the one giving them the space. I'm the one allowing them to let me get angry. I need to stop giving them the space because they clearly don't deserve it. It's, it's better spent somewhere else. Then, so, because at some point, it's not even their fault anymore. They're doing what they're doing. Now it's your fault for allowing it to hurt. You have to develop that kind of a, you know, there's people that belong in the inner circle and there's people that belong in the outsides. You have to push, push some people to the outside sometimes. Allah tells his prophet that he has to face people saying all kinds of stupid things. He says, when, he, when you meet people that are acting ignorantly, then just walk away peacefully. You don't have to deal with people like that. Right? And the other thing is, uh, there was a time where the Prophet ﷺ was, his name is Muhammad, and somebody tried to insult him and say his name is Muzammam. Muhammad means the one who is praised, Muzammam means the one who is cursed. Okay? So they tried to twist his name and turn it into something else. And the Prophet ﷺ simply responded, they're not talking about me. So when they say, whatever twist of your name, then you just act like you don't even hear it. Because you know what, people like that, we call them trolls. You know what they need? They need your attention. And the more you look like you got hurt, the more they do it. The more you act like they don't even exist, then they get angry. You have to learn to change the game instead of you being the one who's angry. They should be the one being angry. And then they'll say, oh, that didn't work. Let me act even more stupid. And then let me act even more stupid. And let them make a fool of themselves. But the more you show that you're being hurt or... It's affecting you, the more it encourages them to act in that way. You understand? So, there are, uh, you know, uh, there are some people who don't like me very much. They say things, oh, I don't say anything. They say more things, oh, I don't say anything. Then they get really angry. Why is he still happy? Because he's, because uh, I, I don't say anything. Because that's the, that's the worst thing. Because the, the best thing you can give them is your attention. That's the best gift you can give. They don't deserve that gift.